Welcome back YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be an updated video of my last video. If you guys didn't see it, fortunately I deleted it. I have to admit I gave you guys some wrong information about the crossbow that I got. Wrong information as in how to sight it in. So we're going to start over this video, so let's get to it. All right, like I mentioned, today's video is just going to be a remake of my last video. If you guys didn't see it, it is of my new crossbow. I injured my left arm, so I won't be using my compound bow. I picked up a Raven R26, so I'll be using that for this year. All right, so this year I picked up the Raven R26. This is a couple years old. Well, the model's a couple years old, but it's brand new. I picked it up just the other day at my local sporting goods store. Raven makes a bunch of uh, models of these. There's an R9, R10, R20, at least some other ones, and then the R29 and the R29X, and now they have the R500. Today we'll be mainly focusing on this since I got it. Just a few quick specs, 26 inches from front to back here. It shoots up to 400 feet per second. That is with 400 grain arrows. They do include six bolts these are the 400 grain 0 0.003 straightness bolts comes with a quiver and a cocking lever everything is all nice and compact as you guys can see here it is powered by their helicoil system at full rest the cams from axle to axle is 9.25 inches i believe and then fully cocked is 5.75 inches so it's relatively pretty small package and everything from their advertised weight they say it's about six and a half pounds so that's what I'm looking for, a nice small compact crossbow, something that I can carry around the woods with and hunt out of the tree stand. This is kind of like a bullpup design, if you guys don't know what that is. They move everything towards the middle, handle in the middle, trigger in the middle, that way it's more balanced. It also comes with a fixed power illuminated scope. This ring here is just the feet per second. You have to adjust that here in a bit. I'll show you guys how to do that. But like I mentioned, I did do a video on this already. I gave some wrong information, so I want to make it right. Give you guys the right information. So today we're going to shoot this, my initial impressions and how to sight it in. It's a little different process from setting in a rifle or any other optic just because the Raven scope here is a little different. But we'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. All right, so setting this in is pretty simple. After doing some research and learning the hard way, Raven wants you to shoot it at 10 yards first just to make sure that you're on the target. And then you want to scoot back to 20 yards, shoot that, just make sure you're on. And then you're going to scoot all the way back to 50. And then in the scope, I'll show a picture here. Got some lines in there of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way down to 100. 50 is going to be right in the middle, so you're going to use that to do your 50 yard zero. And then you're going to use the elevation and windage to adjust at 50 yards. So we'll start it with that first. All right, so for you to load this crossbow it's pretty simple you're going to take the, the handle here it's magnetic and it's got some slots in here so it locks into this little t here you're just going to give it a little pressure push this button in the back release let go of the button and let go of this push the button again this track system is going to come down and you're going to push it all the way until it clicks let go of the thumb now there's two ways you can crank this one way I'll show you guys right now and you just basically crank it all the way back it's gonna make a lot of noise and then the clutch slips that it's in so you're gonna back this up a little bit then you can put this back on the bowl I'm just gonna leave it in my pocket for now and then you take a bolt and you put her right in on fletching down and you're gonna push it down pretty hard it's gonna click in and you're ready to go one last thing is adjusting the speed dial here. So you're going to want to adjust it to whichever speed your bow is rated at. The R26 is rated at 400 feet per second. So we're going to start up there. Again, we're going to be at 50 yards here. So we're going to start our first few shots here. We're going to load up another one just to see how our grouping is. Again, you're going to put this in here and thumb on the button. You hear the click. You're gonna let go, let go of this, all the way down until it clicks, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the silent method. Now this method you're gonna want to be careful because there's gonna be a lot of resistance on the handle. So you're gonna push this button down here and you're gonna crank. 
it's quiet but if you were to let go this is going to bounce back so you're going to want to hold this tight go all the way back you're going to hear the clutch engage let go of the thumb good to go we'll do one more the three shot group and then we'll go down and check it out If you don't push this far enough forward, you're going to do what I did. The button won't release. So just come down enough. Just come down. I think I touched fletchings down there. So we'll go check it out. That's a pretty good grouping right there. That is at 50 yards, guys. I say she's zeroed. Let's just say if your 50 yard grouping was like up here. So you are gonna be approximately three inches to the right and three inches high. The scope on the Raven crossbow is a half inch per click at 100 yards. So since you're starting at 50 yards, then I'll double that. So originally at 100 yards, if it was three inches to the right, you would want to go six clicks to the right. That'll move it three inches at 100 yards. But since you're at 50, you're going to double that. So it's going to be 12 inches. So you're going to do that so forth. So you're going to keep doing that until you hit it right in the middle at 50 yards. And then what Raven recommends is you go back to 20 yards and shoot it again. And then you will adjust the speed dial, not the elevation and windage turrets at 20. So we're going to do that right here. All right, so we're gonna be at 20 yards here. We're gonna see where it hits. And then we'll go from there. So like I mentioned, at 20 yards, you're not gonna mess with the windage or elevation. Your windage should be good, because you set that at 50 yards already. And then you're just gonna tweak with this speed ring here just to make sure your up and down is correct. All right, let's go check it out. All right, as you guys can see here, it's basically zeroed. Like I said, you don't want to shoot the same hole at 20 yards just because it's really accurate. Like these two here, pretty sure they would have touched or a knock would have been broken just because they're relatively in the same area. This one would have been fine. Luckily mine is sighted in. So let's just say at 20 yards you shoot and you end up here, but you're aiming here. So you're about an inch or so high. You're going to want to turn your selected ring just a little bit faster than the speed that you chose because you're shooting higher than your intended target. Now if you were shooting low, uh, that means that you're both shooting a little slower. So you're going to want to turn the dial to a little bit slower speed and just want to adjust that until you hit the bullseye. So we're going to jump back to 90 and we're going to shoot a three shot group to see how well we do all right we're here at 90 yards we'll see how this goes Looking good. That is a 90 yard group. 
a little bit to the left, but I'll take that any day. That about wraps up for today's video. Again, I just want to apologize for giving you guys the wrong information. I was too excited for my crossbow to shoot it, but today's instructions, I assure you, is what Raven recommends. If you guys enjoy these videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. And until next time, be safe, everyone.